All right. Geometry, Chapter 10, Section 3, Arcs and Chords. We're going to look at relationships of congruent arcs and chords and different segments. So let's dive right in. We're going to start with, um, start with the theorem. And this is going to be theorem 10-2. And what it states... is let's call this um, let's call this a B and let's call this D E and this theorem states that if AB is congruent to DE, then the measure of arc AB has to be congruent to the measure of arc DE, which makes sense. If this segment is the same as this one, then obviously their arc measures are going to be exactly the same. Okay. Okay, so let's apply it. Go ahead and hit pause and draw these two circles and draw in their lengths. Since those arcs are the same, that means that those segments are the same. So if I'm going to solve for x, I simply take 3x plus 7 and set it equal to 2x plus 1. So let's subtract 2x from this side. That gives me x plus 7 equals 1. Subtract 7 from both sides. Our x value equals negative 6. Okay, I had to pause there for a second. Some of you are looking at that going, how can x equal negative 6? You are exactly right, because unfortunately, I wrote the problem down wrong. So let's go back and change that to 3x minus 7. And so down here, that's going to be a minus 7. And so let's get rid of that. And in this step, it's going to be plus 7. So that gives me an answer of x equals 8. That makes way better sense. OK, so 3x minus 7 equals 2x plus 1. Same steps, just I add 7 at the end. OK, now we have theorem 10-3. And so notice we have a circle with a diameter of AC. I'll go ahead and give you a, go ahead and hit pause and take a second to draw that. Okay, this theorem says that if a chord, and in this case DF is our chord, if DF is perpendicular to the diameter. Okay, if the chord is perpendicular to the diameter, then it bisects the chord and its arc, which means two things. That means that DE is congruent to EF, okay, those two segments are congruent, and it also means that arc DC is congruent to arc FC. Okay, so let me write this out. Okay, D 
DE is congruent to EF. Obviously, angle DEC and angle CEF, those are both 90 degrees. So that makes the measure of arc DC congruent to the measure of arc CF. Those would be exactly the same. So that's 10-3. Okay, 10-4 was basically just 10-3. Um, the wording was was just switched. So for 10-4, if you're keeping track, 10-4 um, is the perpendicular bisector of a chord is a diameter of the circle. Okay, so again, just stating the same thing in a different way. 10-5, we're gonna look at the relationship between the measure of arc AB and the measure of arc CD. Theorem 10-5 says if the, um, we're going to look at the chords as well. Theorem 10-5 says if the chords, which those are these lengths right here, if the chords are equidistant away from the center, so you see that this chord shares that distance from the center, this chord shares that distance from the center, and they are both equal. So if those two chords are the same distance from the center, then they are congruent, which means AB is congruent, according to this drawing, to CD. So this is congruent to this, the whole thing, which also makes our arcs congruent because of theorem 10-1. If your chords are congruent, then your arcs are congruent as well. All right, so that takes care of uh, a few theorems that we're looking at in this section. And so that completes 10-3, arcs and chords.